Hello and welcome to the Sibsey West Midlands Region Bite Size Briefing Short. My name is Joss Brownlee and I'm the Chair for the Sibsey West Midlands Region Committee and it's great to have you join me today. In the news recently, the BBC have written an article on climate change and how the UK war, Ukraine war prompts fossil fuel gold rush report. The world is witnessing a gold rush for new fossil fuel projects according to a new report by leading climate change researchers. Soaring energy prices have spurred by Russia's invasion of Ukraine have led to new investment in oil and gas. A report by Climate Action Tracker says the world risks being locked into irreversible warming. There is broad consensus that the emission of gases produced by fossil fuels must be dramatically cut by 2030. On the Building Brum website, initial designs for the first phase of Smithfield Birmingham are set to be unveiled. Emerging designs for Smithfield Birmingham are set to be unveiled as part of a next phase of public consultation on the 1.9 billion landmark regeneration project. People from across Birmingham are being asked to come along to have their say on proposals for the first phase of the site at a public dropping in event on Tuesday the 14th of June between 3 and 8 p.m. at St Martin's Church, Edgebaston. The draft plans and opportunities to provide feedback will be available on the proposals web page. Also on the Building Brum website is an article regarding Claremont Property Group revealing residential plans for the historic jewellery quarter buildings. A property developer that specialises in reinventing historic buildings has unveiled plans for the residential conversion and extension of a set of period buildings in Birmingham Conservation Area. Claremont Property Group has submitted a planning application for the development of four expansive new townhouses, 37 contemporary one and two bedroom apartments and 15,000 15, square foot of flexible use commercial accommodation at Summerhill House in the Jewellery Quarter. The Bur British Council for Offices and Building Brum are hosting a How I Built This Career Stories from Industri Industry Experts event. Building Brum Programme Director Connor Nolan will be joined by Calthorpe Estates Master Planning and Development Director Ralph Minnett, Turley Senior Director and Head of Planning Midlands Angela Reeve and Associated Architects Director Stephen Townsend in their event on the 6th of July between 5.30 and 9 at the Senator Birmingham Showroom, Sovereign Hall, Frederick Street, Birmingham. The Construction Inquiry website has recently published an article regarding firms readying themselves for the one and a half billion Midlands Rail Hub contest. Network Rail is pressing ahead with plans to invite tenders for the one and a half billion Midlands Rail Hub programme of works at the start of next year. Procurement bosses are planning an outline briefing session for firms on the 21st of June to set out plans for the work programme, which is expected to involve around eight major infrastructure projects. The BBC, web, uh, BBC Moneybox programme has recently done a podcast uh, article on how to apply for help paying for your energy bills. The CIOB website has recently published an article on the art of the building and celebrating the world built it world environment. The winning images from the previous years have also been published and the 2020 gallery has finalists from uh, featuring Big Ben, uh, Arg of Carmen Khan and the Museo Guggenheim in Bilbao. On the RIC web, RICS website, there's an article regarding race and space, decolonizing the, colonizing the built environment. The history of colonization and the racial equality, inequality across the globe plays out in many spheres, but one of the most starkly defined is in our built environment. In cities across the world, ethnic groups with power have frequently used space to restrict or punish underrepresented groups. It goes on to look at mentorship, workplace experiences, progress and competition, and the way forward. And lastly, the engineer has published a poll regarding whether a four day work, working week for the engineering and manufacturing sectors and whether it can actually work. 
All of the current content covered in today's episode is copyright of the respective owners. Links to the articles are available in the bio. Sibsi accepts no responsibility for the external links. If you'd like to comment, get involved or contribute, please don't hesitate to get in contact. I thank you for joining me today and look forward to the next time.